part two of our knee strengthening exercises lie supine with your knees hip width apart lift one leg off in line with the other knee hold it there and let's articulate the spine up one vertebrae at a time make sure that your hip is parallel and it's not falling down and then slowly come down and then go up and then slowly come down do about five repetitions and then change legs and then build up your strength to do about 10 repetitions on each side Sit upright with your back straight, hold the sides of a stool or a chair, whatever you're sitting on. Lift one leg up slightly and then extend that knee, pulling your kneecap towards you, engaging your quads. Flex the foot, your toes towards you to increase that tension in the quads and then release after holding it for five seconds. Lift again, extend, pull the toes towards you to engage the quads a little bit more, hold for five seconds and release. You can do this for about 5 to 10 repetitions. If your knee hurts, don't extend it completely. Extend it only to the point that's comfortable for you. Flex your foot, hold that and in a couple of days as your knee gets stronger because your quad is stronger, you will be able to reach full extension. So we're going to do the squat which is the most basic yes, yet one of the most difficult exercise for people with bad knees because sitting and standing is a problem when your knees are bad but you have to practice the squat to make your knees stronger because sitting and standing is something that we do numerous times a day right so sit on a bench or on a or, or a chair at the edge of it and from there stand up to come into your position now from here Tracking your knees in line with your toes, you're going to go back and sit on the chair and then stand back up, squeeze your glutes at the top and then go down, sit and then come up. Now if this is too much for your knee, you can place something to make the chair or the stool a little higher and then go down so you don't have to go so deep and then come up. And as you get stronger, I want you to stop sitting but just touch your hips to the chair and come back up making sure that your knees are tracking in line with your toes and not going in front of your toes now i find that the hands knees are going a little inwards so i'm going to show you in the next one what to do take a thera loop and place it on top of your knees if you don't have a thera loop simply take a thera band and tie it and then place it on top of your knees from here pushing your knees away from each other pulling them apart Stand up, this is your start position and then now from here, pulling your knees apart, touch and come back up and then go down, touch, keep pulling your knees apart, this is going to get your abductors or the side of your thighs into play so that your knees don't turn inward, so you want to push it out, does this feel more difficult in your hands? Yeah. Okay. And squeeze your glutes at the top without thrusting your hip forward, pull your knees apart, Go down and come up. Do this about 10 times and then build up to 20. One more. Go down, touch and come back up. If you want to watch more such videos of me recovering from illnesses and problems with my body. <laughs> Leave a comment below. Leave a comment below. And like.